a brother uh, in English. They say that when we think of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we sometimes conjure up images in our mind which more, more than likely and probably definitely are the wrong manifestation of Almighty Lord because we have never seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as it mentions Surah Ikhlas in the last ayah, He is incomparable to anything that you can imagine. So when we do pray, when we think, even when we want to be in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how should we imagine Him? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salatu wa salam wa ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. MashaAllah, uh, the brother have asked a very uh, good question and a unique question. Regarding that, uh, one should know that Allah Jalla Majduhu, uh, as he has mentioned, is not like anything and anything is not like him. So when we worship him and when we call him and when we think about him, all we can think of is of a being, uh, a creator, a being, an entity. Now, how does that person look? We do not, but we know that he is a being. So what we can think about is, like the brother is mentioning, um, is the sifat of Allah, which we know whatever Allah Azza wa Jal has revealed upon us, the meaning actually through the Quran and the Sunnah, of the Prophet والسلام, that Allah is with us. For example, this is the sifa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal is seeing us. This is one of the qualities of Allah. That Allah is seeing us. He is basir. He is asami. He the all hearing, He is hearing us. He is all loving. He is dummy. He is infinitely compassionate. So we can think about the sifat of Allah Jalla Majdu. But how does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look? Uh, as I mentioned, we do not know. It's just like uh, if a person wants to help, that if there is a camera on and someone says that you are being watched uh, by someone, someone is watching you, but I do not know how they look, how is their face, etc. I, all I know is that there is a, a being watching me, but I don't know uh, their face and features and things, etc. But still, I'm able to then uh, act that as though that I really that someone is watching me. That's what the Prophet wasalam, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said that uh, worship Allah as though you are seeing Him. If not, definitely Allah is seeing you. In another hadith, when you practice good deeds, practice deeds as though you are seeing Allah, if not, definitely Allah is seeing you. And in another hadith, live your life as though you are seeing Allah. Though meaning that we can't see it, we just imagine. And Allah Azza wa definitely sees us. So this is how we actually, uh, presence of Allah is with us watching. That's what we can actually do. Other thing we, we can do is we can get uh, the marifa of Allah through the creation of Allah, the beauty in the creation, the beauty in the heavens, uh, that shows that Allah's Jamal and Allah's power can be manifested and be seen through the creation and the mighty creation and the sun and the galaxies and things. So this gives us, it's like a, we're seeing a picture. We've never seen the painter. The painter have maybe living somewhere, passed away. But from the picture they, the painter have painted, we can see his wisdom and uh, his knowledge and skill and beauty of his mind, etc., etc. Now coming to the second part is that we will be able to, the, uh, all those people who will enter by the, in Jannah by the fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will be able to see Allah azza wa jal. That is the point which they can see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to their level. 
regarding this world and imagination we should never uh, we should never and can never and should never imagine about how allah looks because whatever this question was asked from the great ummi saint of this ummah sayyidna abdul aziz al dabbab al hasani al darisi rahimahullah ta'ala when this question of aqidah was asked from him he said whatever you will imagine that is creation and that creation is not only the creation it will be present somewhere in the universe so here you are so how much ever you widely imagine that it will be creation not only of your imagination but that creation will be existing somewhere as well that is so whatever you will be thinking that it will be creation so one can just as I said, through the sifat of Allah is with us, seeing us, hearing us. This we can think. But then for other part, we will have to wait uh, to get to Jannah, which we will see Allah Azza wa as Rasulullah When Sahaba Ikram asked, how will we see? He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that when there is a moon, full moon, 14th night, 15th night, is there any difficulty for seeing? They said, no. He said, well, Allah is not no one, but you will be able to see him actually as you see the moon. So we have example in the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this is the aqidah issue, and also uh, this shows. And uh, the third element of this is that it creates curiosity, it creates interest. How exciting I should be having the yearning, the passion. To meet Allah Jalla Majdhu, to see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, there are so many exciting things coming. If we do good deeds, there's only excitement and enjoyment. Like people wait for holidays in one year to go for two, three weeks. Here is a long holiday of Barzakh. We are this surprise after surprise. There's a fifty thousand year long actually holiday, meaning for the pious and righteous, it's a holiday. La khawfun alayhim wa lahum yaqzanun. Salama upon them. Peace from Allah will prevail upon them. So for them, it's peace. In Jannah, what will be the excitement when you get to doors of Jannah? When you see first time your Jannah, when you are introduced to your paradise, your servants, angels, malaika, and your excitement to see all your relatives and parents and grandparents who have come into Jannah, to see the Anbiya and Siddiqeen and Shuhada. And moreover, Allah Azza wa Jal, as in the hadith is mentioned, as the brother have asked, every Friday, those people, one of the virtues of the Friday prayers and spending time in worship on Friday is that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, a hadith mentioned by Imam Tirmadhi, that every Friday in Jannah, people will have opportunity to meet and see and be in the presence of Allah. So here you are. Even people of Jannah will have this every week, this opportunity. So may Allah Azza wa Jalla say that uh, enable us to become th those who will one day have the vision of Allah Jalla Maiduhu, and that depends upon Allah's fadl and then our iman and our mal and how we live this life.